So what I got here is the Moper oil filter out of my uh, Jeep Patriot. I haven't reviewed one of these filters yet. So I'm going to actually review one of these. But we are actually going to just kind of... Well, actually, the sticker is this way, isn't it? We're actually uh, opening this up to see how healthy the engine is. Uh, I made a video of the last time I uh, opened the oil filter on my Jeep Patriot. The filter was quite clogged with carbon and just bad material. And there was some metal flake in it. So I'm hoping, opening this one, there will be a difference. But I'm not sure if there will be a difference that's the scary thing i'm kind of hoping there will be a difference but uh you never know with filters right or engines i'm in the process i am trying to clean that engine out with some really regular oil changes right now and using some really good synthetic oil so i'm hoping it's working but uh the oil i'm using is actually pens oil 5w20 so i'm hoping it's working i hope it does a good job this thing has a crazy number on it here uh 04892339 be and underneath 5005 i don't know what that number is for this filter but that is a pretty crazy number and there was a number on top here 226314 but like I said, this is in, in general really a review for the Moper. I haven't done a Moper, I don't think. But I will be doing a review for the Moper, a new Moper, very soon. But we'll, we'll take a look at this one anyways. It's, a, it's, it's the used one off of my Jeep Patriot, as I said. So let's see here. So busy today. Well, I'm back at a different location. <laughs> I had to move out of the office there. It was getting way too busy, so I came out to the good old uh, shop. So, the shop is cold, though. I haven't had the heat on. It hasn't been cold, cold. So, I haven't had the heat on. So, But where were we here? Oh, yes. We're with the Mopar. This good old Mopar filter. So gonna be opening her up taking a look at her and as I said seeing how well uh, that engines doing nowadays I'm hoping it's doing good because I'm still driving that Jeep and hopefully this thing will cut open really good I'm kind of hoping <coughs> like I said I haven't done a review on this filter but uh, I'm hoping to Don't remember how much this cost, but that's not the purpose of this. Of this, this is to open it up, check to see if that engine is still in, well, hopefully okay shape. I hope it is. And well, we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping it's it's doing less carbon. And this is, yes, a genuine Mopar filter I put on, so I can't wait to see how these are built inside. I pretty well know sort of how they're built inside, but I'm not really sure how they are built inside. So I think I'm just babbling on right now. Uh, I've still been a little sick, so... I might babble on a little bit. All right, I think I got her. Okay, nice. That is why I'm wearing the gloves, because it is used. And there we go. Well, we will take a look at the base plate anyways, just because. Uh, let me get some light on that. Light source here. There we go. There we go. The oil uh, looks cleaner than it did before. Uh, that first oil change was rough on the engine. But uh, there is uh, three threads 
don't want to talk about it too much because that's not really what I'm trying to do, but let's see. Rubber, uh, it's either rubber or nitrile. And it's hard to tell after the filter's been used because it kind of hardens them. Oh, and by the way, uh, this filter has been in the vehicle for 5,138 kilometers. So I was sick, so I didn't want to change it. And you might have seen my video or my short where I had the wife changing my oil for me. She's a sweetheart. So she changed my oil for me. And uh, yes, it just has that type of the pressed steel. Pretty thin cup. Wow, that's really thin. I'm not sure if that even considered to call that a cup, but we're not fooling around with that yet. We're just checking this filter. Hopefully uh, there's nothing in it and it turns out to be okay. But yes, it does have a bypass valve. So that's actually a good thing. Feels good. Feels really good. Uh, oh, there's a strip that holds the filter together. That's nice. Anything else here that we can see? Um, uh, plates look pretty good, uniform. And yes, I told you how many kilometers. So that's good, but we're going to cut this open now. And we're going to check the inside. And does anybody know who makes the Mopar filter? I really didn't check on it to see because this really wasn't supposed to be a video. But the oil doesn't look too bad in there. Like, I drained it, but it, I don't see any carbon like I did in the last uh, oil filter I opened up from that car. So I'm guessing this one's not as carboned up as much. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's just cut this open right here. At least it has metal ends. Seems to be a decent filter. We're like first time ever using actually a Mopar filter, I believe. So I was hoping it would be good. I usually don't take a chance on a new filter. I'm getting crap on it. But some of this stuff here. Let's get that off of there. And from this old paint here, I'm getting crap on it. Uh, where's my pliers? There they are. Let's pull out this. There we go. Took that out. And let's cut her through here. There we go. Oh, that was simple. And there we go. As you see, it's got the lower type uh, tube on it seems pretty good it seems like it's a pretty thick filter um, looks okay looks okay so this is the inside so this is uh, the inside that's the outside the outside is where the oil goes from the outside to the inside and flows through the tube so let me take a look here and oh, there is quite a bit of carbon in this one again. So I haven't gotten that engine cleaned out quite yet. It is full of carbon. Wow. And there are some metal pieces in there too. So I'm, I may have to do a flush on that engine. But it looks like the, we're, we've got a lot less now carbon. So maybe the next oil change will be better. And some spots have more carbon. You can hear how scratchy it is. Imagine, that's in your engine oil. And that's so scratchy. So, uh, yeah, there's... Uh, Hopefully you can pick that up. There's quite a bit of carbon on this filter, so, and some metal pieces there. If you can see the metal piece, it's like right up the thumb there. So, 
yeah, I see quite a bit of metal pieces in here, but the engine runs fine. But, uh, yeah, lots of carbon. I'm not impressed with that still. It looks like less than last time. So, um, I'm hoping on the next oil change when I open the filter it'll look even better. And, uh, it looks better than it did last time, let's just say. But, yeah, I got a feeling that engine has quite a bit of carbon in it from being a city driver. So, I'm not sure. I was hoping it would look better. But it does look, it, it does look better. I'm hoping, uh, but I, of course, there's still going to be carbon in there and whatever else is in there. So, um, I will have one of these uh, filters coming, a new one, so I can test it properly, or not test it, uh, review it properly. And, uh, yeah, that way uh, we can actually see what this filtration paper looks like before it gets soaked with oil. So, yeah. And, uh, well, that's it. Now I know I still have carbon in the engine. Uh, just keep driving it for another 5,000 and change the oil, and hopefully uh, it will get better by uh, over time. I'm using good oil. I'm using Penn's oil, uh, synthetic in it, 5W20, full 100% synthetic. So um, it should be working good. It should be cleaning this engine out. Because uh, synthetic oil is good at that, at cleaning out engines. Or i got to go to something more drastic and clean that engine out. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was uh, fun bringing it to you again, even though I see disappointing results again. And hopefully uh, it can only get uh, better from here on in. Thanks for watching.